On behalf of UN Environment, congratulations. We need more than ever to share success stories. The board and the staff of the World Resources Institute and our experts uh, around the world in 50 countries have all asked me to express our congratulations to you. My heartiest congratulations to City Developments Limited and Sustainable Energy Association of Singapore on the opening of the Zero Energy Singapore Sustainability Academy. I would like to congratulate the Sustainable Energy Association Singapore, SEAS, and the City Developments Limited, CDL, on the successful opening of the Zero Energy Singapore Sustainability Academy. Fantastic work and I wish you all the very best of luck today for the launch. Think of how high the stakes are right now. Every single day for the next 30 years, 275,000 people will be added to the world's cities. The cities account for 80% of growth, 70% of world GDP, 70% of greenhouse gases. Think of the fact that in the next 15 years, the total infrastructure in the cities of the world will be twice what they are today. Those infrastructures can be built well or they can be built badly. And buildings lie at the very heart of that. Half of most cities are in the form of buildings, and yet most buildings today are not built up to modern energy efficiency standards. And we're so delighted that the Singapore Sustainability Academy is going to bring decision makers who are going to learn about the economics and finance as well as the environmental issues associated with this. It seems to us that the Singapore Sustainability Academy sits at the heart of the engagement that is required. And harnessing the strengths of CDL and SEAS and their partners, the Singapore Sustainability Academy will help push for greater impact to build a more carbon efficient and climate resilient future. We need multi-stakeholder coalitions just as being done there in Singapore, where we bring the private sector, the public sector and the people sector together. So on behalf of the World Resources Institute, congratulations. I wish I could be with you today, but we look forward to working with you in the months and years ahead. Thank you very much. I'm so glad that the Academy also achieved a high level of green building standards, being certified Green Mark Platinum Award by the Building and Construction Authority, Singapore. With the global green building movement growing rapidly, the opening of the Academy could not have been timelier. It is a brilliant example of what we are trying to achieve at the World Green Building Council, particularly as we have set ourselves a goal of achieving all buildings to be net zero emissions by 2050, and even sooner, all new buildings to be net zero by 2030, just around the corner. Harnessing the strengths of over 70 green building councils all around the world, it is our primary focus to educate and transform spaces where people live, work, play, heal, and learn. With its numerous green building features, the Academy will be a great platform for education, partnership, and mentorship programs focusing on clean energy, climate change, and green buildings. This is well aligned with World Green Building Council's mission, as well as our Green Building Council in Singapore's mission to promote collaboration, innovation, and play an advocacy and policy role to combat climate change and accelerate change around the world. I believe there will be tremendous potential for future collaborations. So congratulations once again. I look very forward to visiting the Academy in my next visit to Singapore soon. I'm very pleased to note that the Academy aims to be a hub for sustainable development through knowledge sharing, capacity building, thought leaderships, and collaborations on climate actions. ADB has been working closely with SEAS and the Singapore government on the Sustainable Energy Center of Excellence. This aims to build capabilities of policymakers and regulators from Asia's developing countries on improving energy efficiency, access and use of renewables. The Academy, with its broader sustainability goals, will further enhance this learning and help policymakers guide country policies towards sustainability. I'm also very glad that the Academy will support the UN Sustainable Development Goals 
or the SDGs. ADB applauds the increased ambitions of the SDGs and stands ready to support its developing member countries to customize their approaches in achieving these goals. This first of its kind partnership initiated by CDL and SEAS is an inspiration for other organizations and countries to demonstrate leaderships in the sustainability space. I look forward to visiting this unique academy in the near future as it progresses toward its goals. Congratulations once again. I was the first person in history to have walked to the North and South Poles and on those journeys over 25 years ago we touched some of the issues that we're dealing with today on planet Earth. We walked under a hole in the ozone layer, my eyes were burnt out, my skin was burnt away. We walked across the ice cap at the North Pole and it was melting even 25 years ago. So I really applaud what you're doing with the Academy to engage young people and business people, the general public too, on the whole issue of clean energy and being more sustainable. And as far as green energy goes, uh, at the end of this year, in November, my son Barney and I will undertake a journey of a thousand kilometers on foot to the South Geographic Pole, and we will survive for the first time ever in Arctic and Antarctic history only on renewable energy. We will survive using the sun and we will survive using the wind. It's never been done. So we're out there, you're doing some fantastic work in Singapore and I wish you all the very, very best. This is Rob Swan. Congratulations with this, but please share it with the world. Our planet is facing a lot of challenges. They are monumental. But every environment challenge is also a social and economic challenge and an opportunity. And they're far too large to be addressed by just one group. Our solutions must be as interconnected as the problems. That's why UN Environment is collaborating with as many stakeholders as possible. More private sector and citizens' action are critical. It's why unique partnerships like this one are vital. I hope that the Academy will inspire more cooperation with the private sector and more engagement with citizens. Our goals for a healthy planet are demanding, but working together like this, I'm absolutely confident we will achieve them. My congratulations once again.